Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build this Act 3 mini quadcopter using this frame. This is the 3 millimeter version. So let me start by showing you all the parts I'm going to use. So first of all we'll start with the flight controller. I'm going to use this new XSR F3E flight controller from FR Sky. So this is an integrated flight controller with an XSR board inside so this is gonna be my flight controller and my receiver I'm going to use these DYS 6500 kV motors they support three cells batteries and this is the reason I bought them the EC I'm going to use is the Hobbywing 12 ampere 4-in-1 ESC controller on the box it says it's splash proof so it's also a nice feature to have so this is gonna be my you see, I'm also going to weigh everything here before I'm going to assemble it. My camera is going to be the good old TX-03, it's a 3-in-1 camera model, it's configured between 0 to 200 milliwatts, and I've already reviewed it, I'm going to put the link in the description. And that's about it, so let's start by weighing all these items. Let's start with the frame. This is a 112 mm X frame. This is the border between a micro and a mini quadcopter. The weight of the frame with all the bolts and I'm going to put also this bag. It's about 21.3 grams. So it's pretty heavy but I think the motor's not going to have any problem to handle it. Each motor weighs 5.4 grams. Now I'm going to remove all these wires from the EC, most of them at least. So even with the wires, it weighs about 13.5 grams. And this flight controller weighs 6.3 grams. We're looking on a total of 63.2 grams without the camera. So if we add 5 grams, but I think uh, if we deduct the wires that I'm going to, to remove, it's gonna be about 60 grams. So it's not going to be a very light one, but I think for 112 uh, frame, it's going to be nice. So let's get into work and I'm going to include the full build procedure of this quadcopter. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
Okay, so I've just connected everything to the in flight in order to see that everything is working correctly. So let's see. This is four, three, and everything is spinning correctly. I just have to make sure I don't have to reverse the ESC. And of course, I will have also to tilt the board. You can see, so it's going to be in minus 45 degrees in the yoke. So after we change the yoke to 45 degrees, you can see that the quadcopter is behaving as we expect. As you can see, I'm almost done. The next thing I need to do, I just need to connect this camera. I'm going to use this 5 volt out from the 4-in-1 ENC controller. Then I'm going to use this 3D printed camera mount in this method. So with some screws, place it on top and we are going to be good to go. Okay, so I connected the camera and the top plate. Also put the antennas on the side in this manner. One more thing I forgot to do, I will add a buzzer. The buzzer port is located on the back, so it's not gonna be a problem to add it. So finally I finished building this quadcopter. I also decided to add this protector to protect the VTX antenna. I went ahead and bind it to my Tyrannis. In order to bind it, you will need to just Put your Taranis on the 16 mode, hit the bind button, then you will need to connect it either to a power source or connect the USB cable and hold this button here. It will bind and then I, then I just configure it on clean flight. You can also flash it to better flight by putting it to DFU mode. You will have to use this boot button, put it on DFU and then flash a new version. I'm going to do it later, not now. I use these propellers from my Tirrut 130. Let's quickly weight up this quadcopter. The weight without the battery is 73.1 grams. And if we add in this three cells, 500 milliampere hour battery, we're looking at 120.4 grams. So this is not a very light quad, but I'm sure that with this three cells battery, it's going to perform pretty well. Here you can see how it compares to all my other micro brushless quadcopter. This is the third 130, already reviewed. This is actually was my first uh, mini sized brushless quadcopter. It's a little lighter. This one is a little lighter than the third 130. You can see it's bigger than my Pico X. But my Pico X is capable only on running two cells batteries. This one is three cells. And here you can see how it compares to the Aurora 90. It's almost the same dimensions and I think it's almost it's very, very similar weight. And this is my lovely Aurora 100. So this one is a little bit bigger. This is 112 millimeters quadcopter. I just want to remind you. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take it for a test flight. I hope you enjoyed this build video and I'm going to see you on my next videos. Goodbye.